Hello, good evening, afternoon, or night, Axolots. It's Valentine's Day, and you know what that means? Another day of spending it alone and wishing the greatest downfall on all the best couples you know. They really should be calling you COVID-19 with how isolated you are today. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen, I have the right to talk about this, okay? I have been single for 19 years. If you watched my crush video, you'll know that I did this to myself completely. This is all on me. And since I've never been on a date before, I'm seeing all my couple friends going out, having the time of their lives. I decided that I will be taking myself out on a date. So the first step, of course, is getting ready. You know, I think I'm pretty much on theme already. My hair is pink. So I'm just gonna like copy some of the Valentine's themed makeup I see on Pinterest. I looked up online of like date ideas to give myself a little bit of inspiration. So I first start off this date by attempting to blind myself with contacts before the light of happy couples all around me gouge my eyesight out. Ah! And listen, okay, there's only one type of people more annoying than happy couples on Valentine's. And that's single people who will not stop yapping about it. I get that. I'm aware. I agree. But let me have this, okay? Every dig I make is an insult at my own self-sabotage towards my relationship life. Um, see I attempted something here. This heart. To the untrained eye, it may look like a kidney stone. Oh my god, how do I fix this? I can't. I can't, okay? We're just gonna have to look like a Walmart Harley Quinn. Guys, what do I wear? What do people wear on dates? Do you wear do you wear suits? Do you wear like cocktail dresses? But if it was a more casual day, you would you don't you don't wear those, right? Guys, what do I wear? Oh my goodness, we're gonna be here forever. I struggled with choosing an outfit for 30 minutes. How is that possible? I don't even have anyone to impress. I am at a loss. Okay, since this is my first date for myself. I'm gonna put on a suit. <laughs> ah, my shoulder! Alrighty, I forgot that this had a puffy sleeve. So we're kinda going for a pirate vibe, I guess. Okay, I think we got it. Uh, do we got it? I don't know. Tie a ribbon. Oh yeah, this definitely is helping me not look like a court jester. This is great, guys. This is about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Should I put this inside? Like, like this? Oh, hell yeah! Now all that's left for me to do is try to style my hair into something that isn't just bowl. And the final thing, you know what date could never be complete without perfume. Segway time! Hello everybody, it's Business Fan Pal here, back again. Tired of your dates fleeing from you because they can smell the scent of desperation? Well lucky for you all, I've got just the thing to help. This video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that allows you to receive a new fragrance of your choosing every month for the low price of 17 buckaroos. Scentbird offers over 700 perfumes with a wide range, even carrying luxurious brands such as Gucci or Prada alongside indie brands so you'll never run out of options. Each fragrance contains a 30-day supply so you can try them out before getting a full-size bottle, potentially saving you hundreds of dollars. Scent but was kind enough to send me three samples of their perfume. Watch as I butcher their names. Versace's Dylan Blue Pearl Femme, Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm Parfumerie, and Pomelo from Joe Loves. I usually am not a perfume person, but they nailed it with these. It's all to my taste and they smell so good, I might just drink them. For legal reasons, please do not drink the perfume. If you're interested, use my coupon code FELINE for 55% off at Sandbird. It's just a bit over $7 for your first month. Available in USA and Canada. Thank you again to Sunbird for sponsoring this video and let's return to the date. <laughs> Modern packaging. The correct way to spray perfume I've heard is just, just spray it in the air and like shimmy your way into it. So we're gonna do that. Now I smell fresh and ready. I may have spritzed that into my eye. Ding ding. Oh my god, 
god, why are all my hairs falling? Um. Okay, let's go. So our first plan in this date itinerary was to visit this one dessert place in a mall near me. I barely go out to eat alone because I fear social interaction, especially in a restaurant setting. Something about eating just feels too vulnerable to do alone. I don't know why I sound like a hyena right now. It's so awkward walking with your phone outside. I don't know if you guys can hear me because I'm whispering. It's like I feel like the whole world's watching me. I don't know how vloggers do this. To get there, however, I had to venture past my university first. I did notice a person or two staring at me from my peripheral vision as I walked past them. I'm still sounding like a hyena. And that could either be due to the pink hair, or the fact that I look like the love child between Jack Sparrow and a waiter who's being paid minimum wage. Fun fact, the dessert place was right near the entrance and I've walked past it enough times to know where it is by muscle memory at this point. I just had to get to the door and turn right. Just turn right. Simple as that. One body movement away from the whole reason I came here in the first place. I walked past it because I got shy. So there I was, walking past my destination, just aimlessly walking forward, trying to hype myself up to turn around and go in without looking awkward, which only made me look more awkward. I finally got in and asked for a menu like a normal person. Here was what they had to offer. I ordered the chocolate crepe. How do you say this? Crap? The, the chocolate crap? In French, crepe. Crepe. In English, it is said as crap. Crap. And a fizzy drink because diabetes fears me. Here, there is a child in front of me that is looking at me. Should I step back? My drink has arrived! Look how pretty it is! It's even red for Valentine's! Uh huh, I am so on theme. I hate it when they don't stir it for you, like I get that's the aesthetic. But look at my ass attempt at trying to even out the syrup while the kid is staring at me, judging me. 19 years old, defeated by stirring. This was as good as it got. Pretty solid, I rated a 7 out of 10 fizzy fruit drink. While waiting for my crap, I made great convo with the leather chair sitting across me. Then finally, the star of the show arrived. My chocolate crap. And let me tell you guys, this was delicious. Mmm. I scarfed this shit down like the one and only Willy Wonka reprotted over and pulled it out of his butthole himself. But this is quite a big plate, I'm not gonna lie. It was clearly made to be shared with more than one person. So I had to pause after a few bites. Just kidding! I kept shoving that down my esophagus. I even got it on my sleeve. Oh, but it really is too much. I'm so full at this point. I lied! I ate it all! And just like that, I was done and ready to pay. The other date idea Google recommended was to get teddy bears as presents. So I went to the dollar store and came across this. I don't know what this is. I was enamored by it. But then I looked to the right and saw this. I don't know what this is even more. There were cute penguins and teddy bears, but whatever, who gives a shit about those? This enigma of a creature was too enticing, I had to get him. Then I looked at the price tag. This is in fact, not a dollar. As a mature adult, I couldn't just spend my money willy-nilly on things just because they looked silly. So I walked away. Then I did a U-turn and went back for it because I grew attached for the 5 seconds I held it in my hand. I love you blobfish elephant thing. The next thing Google recommended was a visit to the bookstore, so off I went to Popular. There I voyaged through all the most famous romance novels such as The Summer of Broken Rules, You've Reached Sam, Red, White and Royal Blue, A Lot of Red, White and Royal Blue, Five Nights at Freddy's, or, 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 or. I remember my friend recommending The Song of Achilles. <laughs> ah, key, please. Yeah! To me, so I considered getting it. After all, I haven't read a novel in a while and my literature skills were getting slightly rusty. But then I saw that the comic book series I've been reading since I was 12 got a new release. Thus, the decision was between a beautiful love story between two boys fated to become soldiers rather than just be their ordinary selves. Or a comic book about not wasting water aimed at 12 year olds. You all already know what I'm going with. Goodbye, ever-expanding vocabulary. And then I saw the line and decided I was not going to be purchasing anything, actually. I'm sorry, I need like a screen of subway servers at the bottom here to be able to wait that long. I used to have a crush on that. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of get it, right? It's kind of cute. Look at it. 
Finally, after admiring the mall decorations for Lunar New Year, I left to get back home and prepare my candlelit dinner. Oh yeah, and I stumbled across a white tiger on my way back because the bridge is built on top of a live tiger exhibit. Fun fact, me and my friends came across the tigers doing the nasty tango before, and it drew in a huge crowd like everyone was on the bridge looking at them. Another fun fact, they were both guys. Here, POV, I'm your amazing epic boyfriend cooking dinner for the both of us. Are you ready for some gourmet dining? I got you, babe. Instant noodles. I'm staring at the camera like it's your fault this happened. So first we cook the noodle to make it moist. I added some broccoli because I understand my food pyramid. Yes sir. I care about your nutrition. Oh, you're about to see a real treat here. This is me handling hot oil like the big strong man I am. Then we put the noodle in the sauce, give it a good stir, add the broccoli, add the meat, the prawns, and boom! Have you ever seen a finer meal? Forget Gordon Ramsay, Remy the Rat himself would be astonished by this level of finesse. Good evening, my lady. I have improvised a mechanic that allows me to eat with a mask on. <laughs> um, 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 um. Please, don't be shy. Take a bite. <laughs> Lovely. What? Wow. Delicious. <coughs> oh, how could I forget? So, what do you think? Is it a yes for a second date? Would my lady care for, for some refreshments? El Dufre es Preta. From 19... 1842 France. Bon appetit. The final stuff Google recommended was to watch the sunset, and as you can see, I missed the sunset. Wow. I can't find the sun. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I missed the sun, but it happened. Not to fear though, we still have the option of stargazing. Oh shit, pollution. Wow. I think that's Sagittarius. So that's basically the end of our date. Honestly, I had a lot of fun. I have Bobo now. I had an excuse to treat myself to a bunch of chocolate. It was nice and I can see why couples look forward to this day so much. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to check out Sanford to unlock a whole new world of fragrances and use my coupon for 55% off.